the benefits we believe in, in growing the salt bush is one of the biggest pluses is, is the fact that we can turn unproductive ground, which is not, not producing a crop, which is not producing feed, into a productive patch of dirt. Um, and that's just been fantastic. It's turned our ability to be able to manage stock um, into a, a clever way. Initially, we went into Saltbush uh, in the early 90s. It was probably my father's passion at the time. He's always been big into his sheep and had the intention of trying to drought-proof the farm. We're in a marginal area where it's sort of 10 inch average rainfall, 250 mil or thereabouts. So we always tend to come into a feed gap in that September, sort of August, September period when we spray top our fallow paddocks for next year's cropping. He wanted to protect that period of time and it allows us to do so from there until we've got stubbles available for feed. We started on some good soil type and then from there um, we also did a 90 acre piece on a paddock that was what we were cropping as well. Since then we've been targeting all of our non-productive ground. It's been great in that we it's allowed us to get production back from the sand hills that we couldn't go near with the cropping and weren't growing any feed because they were blown out. The hills are now held together and it gives us some really, really productive feed. The soil benefits that we can that we feel we can get is the ability to, to manage our pasture and take pressure off them. So it allows us to take sheep out of a pasture or a potential oat crop which you could go for hay and whack them in a patch of salt bush, um, allow that crop to grow on or that pasture to grow on, protect your soil so it's not too bare. The other benefits we've found in a small patch, we've got really had great results over the years with our mating. It's a small paddock, the ewes don't tend to get away. Uh, we've come out of that with some really good conception results. As we do with lambing, if you've got a patch like behind us which has got some good growth and particularly some of our other patches which have got away from us, they provide wonderful shelter. So if you're lambing in, in a winter period and it's cold and windy and rainy, it really is good shelter for the lambs. We've had um, high water notices from SA Water where we initially we thought we, were had, we had a leak and drove our lines and then realised it was just the fact the sheep were drinking so much more water. With that in mind, because they're taking in so much more water, they lactate something unbelievable. So their udders are huge and we believe that allows us, or well, it's been giving us good results in carrying our twins and the odd triplet through much better because the ewe is producing just an abundance of milk. Also, like in the patch here behind us, we use this piece quite regularly as, or every year as a feedlot scenario. So we feedlot our merino weathers to finish them off before we send them to market with hay, grain and the salt bush. They don't tend to eat as much grain for the start because they've got the salt bush that allows them to grow their weight steadily. As the heavier lambs come out of the feedlot first in four to five weeks, we can take them from here, finish these guys off in the salt bush, uh, in, the, in the feedlot at home and it works really well. One of the benefits from a biodiversity point of view, if you go beyond the fact that we're, uh, we're using it for grazing, um, while I haven't noticed it directly, we've had um, Adelaide University have done a study here looking at bird numbers. And there were some really interesting and positive results in the number of bird life that were coming in and, and habitating in the salt bush, which weren't originally there. They found some bird species which I didn't know that were there. And they also were doing sleepy lizard counts and looking at it from another point of view as well. So there are other spin-offs, I believe, to uh, perennials like we've got behind us than just the feed value that we've got itself. We've got light, sandy, fragile soils here. It's something that we're very conscious of. We can't overgraze or it just tends to blow away. Um, everything in our system is, uh, is based around that with our no-till, direct drill. We're going the way of protecting our soils and certainly having the salt bush allows us to, to keep in tune with that system. <music>